Hi, my name is Chris. This is the third part of making a rolling cube. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you can check those out below. Last time I had some trouble with the brakes, so I was excited when the new brake pads arrived. But they didn't do much better than the previous ones. So in a final desperation, I decided to try to make my own brake pads. I went to the local hardware store and bought some rubber bicycle brakes. They were too bulky to fit in the cube, so I had to slice them up and glue them to my own brake plate. The rubber pads needed to be the same height and parallel to the base, but machining rubber is quite hard. You have to freeze it first, and I don't have the equipment for that. But rubber is easy to grind or sand, so I decided to give that a try. I once had the good sense to use a T-slotted plate to hang a faster spindle to my CNC. This gives me the possibility to mount anything I want on there. And with the cheap power file I have laying around, I could make my poor man's CNC grinding device. and it seems to be working really well. It was time to get ready for another braking test. Now that it does what it's supposed to do, I couldn't resist to quickly make a cube with some scrap wood. And uh, don't mind my woodworking skills. For now, I'm quite happy with the result, but there's still a lot of things to figure out. But that will be something for the next videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.